Hi everybody, uh, Maria here. Just with a quick introduction to uh, our stamp class uh, 14, not 13, okay? Um, you haven't missed one, don't worry. I just don't like number 13. Um, so, little sneak peek here of our uh, projects and um, we'll look through what we are going to need. I'm just grabbing the stamp set. Here we go, got everything ready except for the stamp set. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so we've got four projects. Um, the kits are already uh, packed and the worksheets are ready to email out as Word documents and PDFs. Um, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna mix things up with this one. Let me show you the, the stamp set um, first of all. Um, this is a, a lovely set from All & Crate. It's very, very well used, this one. So please excuse, let's see if we can... Um, this is better if we take all of those off actually we can see the actual stamps better there okay um so um we've got a kind of a, a lovely main image here and lots of kind of little elements even a tiny little make of wish so we're going to just sort of play with these um sets um i have put a deal on this set as well um, which I'll tell you about in your email. Um, so you're gonna need that set, or I recommend that set. Then also what we're gonna use. So we haven't had our gel plate out for uh, a little while. So we're going to, to do that. So I've used the my, my large, my six by six inch um, gel plate and brayer um, for one of the projects there and also I've used for some texture with the um, gel plate so I've opted for a stencil and um, this is the one that I've um, chosen and I've used this throughout the class as well just so we've got one stencil on the go so again this is an all, all and create um, and then I've also used a little bit of um, packaging so corrugated cards you can use bubble wrap whatever you want just for a little bit of um, texture um, other things that we're going to need okay so we're going to use uh, some masking fluid okay so I'm still using this older one this is a a pebio um, and this is very very good but now a word of caution um, about the the pebio masking fluid and this is just what I've found over the years of doing the classes and having lots of ladies come to me this one because it's very very old is great um, the, the, the more uh, recent uh, batch of this or the more recent version of this that's got darker packaging see here where it's kind of a turquoisey color um, if it's got like a, a sort of more of a navy blue so sort of a darker blue then if you've got one of those even if it's brand new I suggest you open it and have a little sniff okay all I can say to you is it should not smell unpleasant you'll know okay when you open it um so i've actually stopped using this brand now. i don't buy this brand in i'm using this because i've still got it and it's still fine um but i no longer um stock pebio um uh, masking fluid i do have another brand if you want it give me um give me a shout so we're going to use some of that um ink to go on the on the gel plate so for the gel plate project um i'm just going to use couple of distress pads here so I've gone for lucky clover and mustard seed you can use whatever you want okay it's up to you it's your your projects uh, I've also used a couple of water-based pens as well so I've gone for my clean color um curataki but any any pens that you like will be absolutely fine okay we need a good reliable stamping ink pad so I've gone for I'm going to reach up and get it another thing I've forgotten to put on the desk here we go. So is my um, Versafine um, pad. All right. So we're going to use that. Okay. Then uh, another project. We're going to do a nice kind of clean and simple kind of looking project. And we're going to work on craft card. And this one is just very, very um straightforward this project here um just a little peek of it and what we're going to do here is just build up our kind of image you can't see the whole thing on here by using some of those smaller little stamps 
um, within. So it's kind of just a bit of composition on, on this one with some of these little elements that we've got going on on this set just to make the whole set um, more useful, okay? Um, and then we're going to use some pencils. Uh, so I've just gone for some of my Polychromos uh, pencils here, just uh, white and a couple of shades of pink. You can use whatever you want. Um, optional, if you've got a little bit of uh, glossy accents, that'd be great too. Um, maybe a tiny bit of white paint or a white pen. It's up to you. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, bum, 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 bum. We're going to use uh, some glazes on, on two projects here. So let me show you the embossing glazes. These are really really nice so this is the um the new um pinky color kitsch flamingo and crack pistachio but whatever other colors that you've you've got uh, are fine but if you need some of these give me a shout and i will help you out with those send those with your class kit um so i've used these um i've used one on here just in in the background for some um text that's really cut sort of jumping out and then i've colored i've used both colors here on this project um down here um and i've also used this in conjunction with uh an embossing pen so if you've got a versa versa mark uh, yeah versa mark pen or a actual embossing pen either of those is going to work really well but again if you need one do give me a shout and i can help you out um, with those um, so other ink pads here you can see here you've got the texture of a stencil um, on there so same stencil that i've used and on this piece here as well um, ink pads up here i have gone for um, again just regular distress um, for this class so we've got faded jeans and um, kitsch flamingo but you know just a nice blue and a nice pink whatever uh, suits you for, for this one so we're going to build up a background with that do some stamping and do some colouring with those as well um, and then what else have we got here so on here again a couple of different uh, ink pads and we're going to use one of my favourite things here um, for a background. I'm going to use some torn up paper. So again here I've gone with uh, your regular Distress. Um, obviously if you want to use your oxides, that's, that's absolutely fine. I just think that it's important that um, even though we've now, you know, everybody's in love with our oxides, let's not fall out of love with our regular Distress. We've, we know we've spent um, our hard earned money on those, haven't we as well? So let's get those out once in a while so i've gone with a uh, cracked pistachio and gathered twigs but again any colors um, that suit you are going to be absolutely fine um, and i think that is it um, for for the class so uh, is it, if there's anything that you need do give me a shout and, and let me know uh, and i can make all things available for you and i hope to see you at the class take care bye for now